my father always used to say, when, when you get older, you're just going to want one amp and one chord and you'll, you'll be good. And he used to play Fender Twins back in the day and just jack them all the way up. And so this is an amp where it's like, it just, it's all right there. It's pretty wild because I'm so used to having to alter my sound or have some sort of inherent compromise in that needing that extra gain stage. Per my own estimation, not since the late 60s, early 70s, super group amps by Laney, have you had an amp that in and of itself, in being jacked all the way to the max, or in the Karsten's case of the, the Grace, you don't have to jack to the max, you get the pure definition of what that amp is supposed to do, which is create enough gain within itself so that you can get the sound that you want. I've never had that before. Um, and what I'm saying by that is you might be sitting there saying, well, I've got an amp and I got plenty of gain. No, no, I'm talking about an amp that can both work for rhythm and lead playing. That to me is a game changer because when you, when you throw gain into the front of an amp, like it or not, you're still altering the main color of the amp. So if you're playing rhythm and you like the sound and you hit something, on some level you have to give something up to get something in return in terms of gain. So the fact that you can have all the gain that you need rhythm and lead from one amp without having to hit a button, that's pretty wild to me. And so in that, it's kind of like a no frills, which for me is great because again, usually with every amp I've ever had, I've got to do something to get it, get it where I want it to go. And I, do, I don't have that with his amps.